Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. Thanks for joining the Backhand Challenge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to roof the puck. Let's get to it. This method is really effective when you're getting close to the net. It could be you're driving the net and you need to go quickly to your backhand and then get the puck up over the goalie's pads. All these butterfly goalies are going to slide across. So if you try to stuff it down low, goalie's going to stop it. Uh, another effective method is when you're trying to do a deke and you're deking to one side and then to the other, you always want to try to lift that puck and roof it. And a uh, third situation that's really important is when you're in close battling for the puck, a shot comes in from the point, you get the rebound on your backhand, you don't want to waste any time. You want to get it on the net quickly and you want to try to go up high, give the goalie the least amount of uh, chance to actually stop that shot. So I'm going to teach you the three-step process to roofing the puck. Let's go. The first step to roofing the puck is the puck position. It's not as important as the second and third step, but depending on where the puck is located when you release it, it's going to make it easier or harder for you to roof it. So I wanted to mention that first. So for the puck position, you basically want to line up with the front of your body. So if my shoulder is facing the net, say I'm cutting across the crease right here, I want to try to release the puck from my front foot right here. And that just the reason I want that is to allow the blade angle to get sort of like a wedge so you can get underneath the puck and pop it up. If you try to release the puck way back here, it's going to be really hard to get that proper blade angle to lift the puck up high quickly because you can see I'm kind of forced with my body position to have the puck cupped. So you want to try to get to the front of your body. So if my chest is facing the net, say I get the uh, puck here, I want to move it quickly, try to keep it in front of your body because then you can still roll your wrist over, get that proper wedge, and then po pop that puck up. So that's the first one is try to have the puck located more forward in your stance. You can still practice with it in the middle and a little further back to become more confident releasing it from anywhere, but it makes it easier if it's located uh, closer to the front of your body. The second stage of roofing the puck that I think is the most important is the wrist pop. Basically what you're doing is cupping the puck and then rolling those wrists quickly to open up the blade and then moving on to step three. A lot of players miss this and they're not getting quite as much lift as easily as you could. So some players, they just go right to step three. They go from step one to step three and try to shovel up there, which does work. But in a lot of situations, you don't have that much time and that wrist pop is really important. So I'll show you what I mean. First, I'm gonna show you with the puck and I'll give you a close up look. So basically what you're gonna do is start by cupping the puck. Then you're gonna unroll your wrist. And by doing that really quickly, you can almost pop the puck up just like that. So the puck is cupped. I'm gonna unroll my wrist really quickly and then pop up. Looks like that. So you can see with that little motion, I can get the puck up nice and quick, just like this. Just a little wrist pop. So I'm gonna come in close and show what it looks like. You're gonna be cupping the puck so you can see my blade's turned over, and then roll those wrists really quickly. And if you watch uh, videos of Datsyuk and other guys that are really good at, with their back ends, you'll notice they're gonna turn that wrist really open really quickly, open that blade, and then try to roof it. So this is especially important when you're in close to the net. You wanna get a really good wrist pop. So grab the puck, wrist pop. I'll show you one more time. With the puck in front of me, still important. You're gonna have the puck cupped like this and then roll those wrists over and then lift up, go to step three. Looks like this, Woo! put it over the net. Too much wrist pop. Let's go to step three. The third step to roofing that backhand is getting that leverage from the stick. Basically what you're doing is pushing down with this top hand and pulling up with that bottom hand to roof that puck. Now you wanna do this right after you get that wrist pop. So do them uh, quickly together. So you're gonna roll that wrist over to get that little bit of pop from the blade, open the blade up. Then you're gonna really push down here and pull up here to get the puck up nice. And you basically wanna shovel it up towards the top of the net. Now, if you do this properly, you can almost lift that puck no matter what position you are, whether you're facing the net or your shoulder is facing the net. Now, one thing that I see a lot of beginner players do is they have this top hand right up against the hip and they like to try to get really bent over to shovel the puck up. Now, it does work, but you're not always gonna be in that position. Sometimes the puck might be way over here. So basically what you wanna to do to get that good blade angle, instead of getting, trying to get really low, bend your knees a little bit, it'll help you get a little lower to the ice, and push out this bottom hand. So that's part of the pushing down with the top hand and pulling up with the bottom hand. So what you can do, if you watch right here, I'm gonna put the puck over here, roll that wrist over, see that uh, knee bend helps me get lower. I don't have to be right over at the, at the hip right here. So I'll show you, nice little pop. Helps you pop that puck right up there. There's some tips for helping you guys roof your backhand. Thanks a lot for joining the Backhand Challenge. If you guys are looking to join any more challenges, check out my website. It's howtohockey.com. You can subscribe to our email list, and you can check out our Facebook page as well. i got the link in the video description. Sign up for that. I'll let you guys know about future challenges to help you guys improve your game. 
And don't forget to check out my next video. It's how to get more power from the back end when you're further away from the net. Different technique than when you're in really close like the one I just showed you. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys, and see you in the next one.